Hey guys, welcome back to another Ericsson Gaming discussion type video where we kind of share our thoughts on some huge upcoming games. Huge. Um, I'm James Ericsson with my brother Andres Ericsson. It's been a while since we've done something like this. Uh, there's been a huge transition lately the past couple months for me. My wife and I just had a baby, so we've been occupied with that. And then uh, my wife and myself and our kids, we moved to South Carolina for a job, and so we've been transitioning, but now we're back at it again, back on the YouTube's grind. So we'll be back in the future with some more Ericsson Gaming. I'm sorry, not Ericsson Gaming, Ericsson Exchange and streams. But for now, some huge news, some some huge updates for Nintendo that have, has come up very recently. We want to share our thoughts on all these because we are super excited uh, for the stuff that's come up in the future. So the first one we're going to talk about is Mario Tennis. Mario Tennis itself has been a, a game that Andres and I have played a lot of growing up. Growing up, I absolutely loved this game. And when I look at this thing here, I will, I, I'm a little worried. Really? Yes. Why? One thing that I feel like ruins Nintendo games is the constant additions of gimmicks. And I personally have a love and hate relationship with gimmicks because I feel like they can bring flavor to a game, but they can also bring uh, unnecessary complexity and and randomness that can either make or break a game. In this one, in Mario Tennis, something I loved about Mario Tennis was the core tennis gameplay. And uh, the things that started ruining Mario Tennis for me as the years went on, um, I really enjoyed Mario Power Tennis, but something that kinda ruined the game a little bit for me was the... When they introduced the power stuff where each individual character had their own special move, uh, it was a cool idea, and some of them are really cool to watch and stuff, but, like, something that it did to the game was when you were playing doubles, it was like the games and the volleys would just go on forever because somebody would get a ball with their special move, then the other person would get their special move, then the other person would get their special move, and every time someone uses their special move, it just slowed down the game, and then the other people would start building it back up, and then they'd use their special move, and the games went on forever. And I guess, you know, some people like that, but for me personally, I just like the core Mario, or Mario Tennis 64 and Mario Tennis Game Boy Color was just, it was just tennis. <laughs> Well, I don't I know, like, what did you feel about like all those stuff? I feel like they're trying to balance that out though. Like I feel like they learned from Ultra Smash that it was I mean, I don't remember what made Ultra Smash bad. I just remember I heard it was not good. Well, the very the much lack of content, I guess. Yeah. There was like nothing. And then um, there was only that one mode where you grow big. Yeah. <laughs> but this one seems like they're appealing to everybody because I feel like if they just have a regular tennis game where you are just going back and forth with regular tennis moves, not a lot of kids are going to want to play and it's not going to hold people's attention. But this one, I feel like they have a lot of, like you said, flavor. They added a lot of stuff and it is kind of gimmicky, but like when I, I remember watching it and being like, oh boy, what's that going to be? But then she explains that like, oh, but it can be blocked or it can be stopped or you have to use it carefully. You only have a certain amount of this, blah, blah, blah. So it sounds like everything requires skill and like attention yeah. and like I feel like if you get good at this stuff it can be a very skilled game like nothing's too campy or too overpowered or anything it seems like everything uh, I mean hopefully it's, it's everything works that's what I'm hoping for I mean you obviously can see that there seems to be skill and challenge in place here so but I, I just I guess when I started seeing the aim thing, where you can aim by yourself, yeah. you can choose where you aim, and then your racket breaks. I well, guess I think the first... aim, the aiming was only for a certain kind of move. I think yeah. it's not for every uh, hit. The charged or the zone shot, I guess. Yeah. I guess in the end, from my mindset, because I'm very competitive and I like skill-based games, and I don't yeah. like, I don't like when N Nintendo games add too many chance-based features yeah and so i'm hoping that these actually do improve the game and uh if i don't like it there are there they said there are you can play with the simple rules without yeah. the all the other stuff Lord. which i mean i'll be doing that half the time in fact i'll probably be doing that most of the time online i am <laughs> I, one thing i am very happy about this game 
uh, that's coming to this game is the online multiplayer. Know, me too. And I'm sure they'll have a ranking system. How could they not? Uh, and so 1v1 simple rules tennis will be my go-to in this and I'll be doing it all the time because that's something I didn't I didn't get to do growing up with uh, Tennis it was just me and you playing it most of the time and our cousins and stuff or you'll really like all the things They added and you'll play that online yeah, Maybe that man. Maybe I will it, I mean she she the narrator they did <laughs> seem to make a point of Letting us know that it's balanced or like not anything is like I said, overpowered. So I suppose we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks good in the music. Oh, it looks amazing. Harkens back to the old ones, if you noticed. Yeah, it does. So I'm really glad about that. Uh, yeah, and you're right. It looks beautiful. The game looks great. Yeah. Before we move on to Splatoon, I just want to mention that the story mode, that they're bringing a story mode. Yeah. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, I loved, loved, loved <laughs> the story mode <laughs> for Mario Tennis. Game Boy Color. And I don't know, I don't know what was so fun about it, but I used to love playing it. Like, I'd yeah. get like over and over, I'd play it multiple times. <laughs> yeah, same. I don't know why I loved it so much. And so I was hoping they would do that for this game. I don't think it's going to be like an RPG, like it was in Mario Tennis uh, yeah. Game Boy Color, but I'm excited to see what the story mode is going to be like. I hope it's uh, fun. One other thing, one quick thing I want to point out before we move on. <laughs> I think that. The Chain Chomp character is the dumbest character that could have brought into any Mario game. It's so game. random. It's, it's like just, in the new Mario parties where they add like everybody who, who's never played anymore, like Spike and Blooper and whatever. It just does not make any sense. They pulled it straight out of their butt. They could have. There's so many Diddy, other Roberto, characters. Or actually, there are more characters. They said there's. They didn't reveal all of them. Yeah, but the one behind the silhouette, Koopa Troopa, was an obvious one. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. It's just Nintendo always has their their weird quirks <laughs> about every game. And with Mario Par Mario Kart, it was pink cold peach. <laughs> with this game, Chain Chomp. Well, you know? I mean, the wow. good thing is it's not taking anything away from <laughs> yeah. the experience. Like, if you don't like Except him, you just don't have cells. to be him. <laughs> <Yeah. kidding. laughs> uh, any any more thoughts on the on the matter? Uh, pr just that I'm probably never gonna use the motion controls. I'm just gonna play it. Same, <laughs> same. I think I I feel like Nintendo should Nintendo should just stop. They or just yeah. leave it to. Well, obviously motion controls work on Splatoon. I think they. I don't. You know, I whatever. You know, Nintendo just do whatever the heck you want. I don't care. We'll still pay money for your weird things. <laughs> All right, uh, Splatoon, Splatoonness version 3.0. Okay, so Splatoon, I was sitting at the table with my family friends, not just really hanging out, and I saw this Splatoon stuff, and I was like, okay, 100 new pieces of gear, wow. And, you know, they do this all the time. They bring in new gear. What could yeah. come out of this Splatoon stuff? I mean, honestly, for me, it's just like, I'd rather, at this point, I just want to customize my inkling to look cool, <laughs> like, look like I want it to look, so I'm not going to buy every piece of clothing just to get better gear when I'm only going to use the same thing over and over again. Well, there are ways to... Andres doesn't play that much Splatoon for those listening, but... Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> there are ways to change what ability your gear has, but it's not as simple as one might want it to oh. be. Uh, but, or a couple things that I was really happy about before we get into the Octo expansion. <gasps> They're bringing back Camp Triggerfish! Oh yeah, I am happy about that. Not that, that, was one ma that was one level. Every time they released new levels from the past, Camp Triggerfish always came into mind, and I was like, please, please release it. And now they're doing that along with Piranha Pit and this new Wahoo World, basically Santa Monica. Uh, and then they have Rank X, which... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll cool. never get there. <laughs> you know, if I was an ultra competitive at the level where that SRB2 dude was, I'd be like, this is super heckin' awesome, but I don't play enough rank to be like, yay, I'm still, I want to get to S+, plus at least. It's I, it's hard for me to play ranked because it's just too random and it's not it's not really competitive. People will say yes, it is. It's competitive. It's not really competitive. It's literally random. Yeah, that SRB two dude said the exact same thing. You know, it's whatever. Rank X, cool. Will I ever make it there? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad about the other stuff coming. And then uh, the two next things we're going to be talking about were I think the spiciness of this direct 
two yes. things that none of us expected. Right. Um, the first, Octo Expansion. What were your thoughts after you watched all this and were watching it? What, what were you thinking about this? One of my first thoughts, well, after like, oh, hey, look, an Octoling, oh my gosh, was that it's kind of funny that... <laughs> Nintendo like sexualizes this little Octoling. <laughs> I know they always... like the way she walks, her skimpy clothing, yeah. her giant hips, and this is like a kids game. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I thought just... I was watching it today, and I was thinking she kind of looks like a prostitute. Or something. <laughs> it's very Japanese. Not right. to offend the Japanese, it's just how their culture <laughs> does yeah. things sometimes. Yeah, I mean, take a look at freaking uh, at Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Yeah, right. I mean, it's freaking for all ages, and Pyra basically dresses in lingerie. That being said, um, obviously Smash overshadowed everything in this direct for me, but this did make me like, oh, a reason to play Splatoon 2 again, because <laughs> Octolings are finally playable. I feel like it's almost a little too late because it's not as exciting as it would have been in the past, but I am... Excited and I sadly yeah. I I would say the same thing. I was I wanted Octolings to be playable for so freaking long ever since Splatoon 1. And now that they're playable, like I'm super excited. I'm really happy about that they're doing this. Finally. And yeah. we'll probably there's probably a lot more that they're not showing, and I'm pretty excited for that. Um but like they're doing it, and this is probably a good time to do it too, I guess. It'll probably revive a super awesome desire to just play every single day again. <laughs> but once Splatoon 2 kind of died down, for me at least, because the motion controls weren't as cool as the Splatoon 1 ones was, <laughs> for me that really ruined the main thing I loved about yeah. uh, Splatoon. I still love Splatoon! Don't get me wrong, this game is amazing, and I yeah. still love playing it every time. But ranked mode because it's the only competitive mode I can really play right now, just makes me so mad. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I like that this is like a story mode too, and they did say they're gonna go deeper into the lore and whatnot, which I think could be really interesting, because that's what I wanted from the main story mode, and I didn't even finish that, because I saw you finish it, and I was like, oh, oh well. Yeah, you, you watched me finish it, that's right. I yeah, and so that. I was just, didn't feel a desire to, but yeah. this I think I'll actually play. Um, I'm interested to know where this goes. It's cool that you can play as an Octoling. It's also in the trailer, you can see Agent 3, who your character was in Splatoon 1, uh, standing next to the door of the subway. I don't know if you noticed that. You can see basically your character from Splatoon 1, AKA Agent 3. I'm, I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be really cool to see where this goes. Um, and why that maybe they'll say why the ink the octolings are blue Maybe they'll say why you know the octolings wear glasses the bad ones at least hey um, We were you were right in your uh, it, it's, it's possible <laughs> It's possible that the octo theory was right, and I hope I hope so uh, Eric or what's it there Eric Derek Bittner? <laughs> that's his name right from game explain anyways Derek was saying that he thinks that the inklings become octolings and I was just thinking, I don't, I don't think that's right at yeah, all. I don't know. I think there's nothing that says that that could be possible, and I think that it's just a little out there. I think it's the fact. Uh, what I think is going on, maybe, is that sh this this octoling was released from her hypno 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 glasses, and then she wakes up with no memory, <clears throat> and now she has to fight her way out. I think. Uh, and then from here, you unlock playable octolings in the multiplayer literally adds no benefit it's just that you're you can you can add, you can change into a octopus instead of a squid and you're an <laughs> octoling wow cool i don't it's it literally adds nothing but it's just super cool to play as something different that's why i've spent over a hundred dollars on fortnite getting skins because it's just fun <laughs> <laughs> uh, but overall i i, I think the the thing I'm most excited about is just to see where the story goes because I was very intrigued by <clears throat> that. After Marina was a good Octoling, I was intrigued by the whole concept. Anyways, okay, let's talk about the greatest <laughs> thing that's ever happened this year. Not ever happened. <laughs> the greatest thing that's happened this year so far. 
Like, I cannot believe compared this. Compared to anything at all, not just gaming, just the greatest thing that's happened uh, to you. Yes, it's, it's greater than having my baby. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. So, all this whole time, even before the Switch was released, we've seen Mario Kart get deluxed. Splatoon 2 is basically Splatoon 1 super deluxed. <laughs> and then, and the entire time, everyone's like, Okay, they're deluxing the most popular games on the Wii U. They have to deluxe, or at least come out with Smash at some point. Nintendo knows it. They were hiding it the entire time. They knew what we wanted, and they waited over a year Those to finally devils. tease us Smash. And I don't think they could have teased us in a better way. <laughs> I agree, and I'm so glad that I watched it live, and I didn't wait till I get home, because if I got home and looked it up, the first things I would have seen on the internet were Smash trailer, Smash 5, and I would have died! Oh my gosh, I'm so I glad I got to watch it fresh and not know what was going on and then have to figure it out and then BAM! I know, it was... Oh my gosh, they couldn't have done it better. And But I do wish that I was around people that loved Super Smash Bros. because I was sitting at a table at my family friend's house you were just with, watching this on you a were laptop. with them in front of them? Yeah, I was at a oh, table really? with my laptop because they were talking about a bunch of other stuff. We were just hanging out. Um, and my wife was sitting next to me and I was watching this because I was like, oh, it's five o'clock, the direct's on, I'll just watch it. I, mean, I don't expect anything. I didn't even expect the Octo thing. Right. <laughs> um, obviously no one did, but I wasn't expecting anything good because of <laughs> how Nintendo directs can be. And so I'm sitting there and the Splatoon Octo stuff shows up and then they say, I, we've got one more thing. And in my mind, I said, I, I really hope this is Smash Brothers. I don't think it's going to be, but I think it is. And then they show the Splatoon 1 type trailer thing. And I, at that point, I'm thinking, why, why are they bringing Splatoon 1 to the Switch? That was my thought. <laughs> I was thinking, like, what are they doing? Are they having a Splatoon 1 tournament? Are they bringing it to the Switch? Why are they doing this? And then it stopped. She looked behind her. And still, when she was looking at whatever she was looking at, I still thought she's looking at like some announcement for Splatoon 1. And then I saw the <laughs> Smash logo, logo in her eye and sitting at that table, I, I covered my mouth with my, with my hands and my eyes got <laughs> wide and I was like, oh my gosh, no way. And I started laughing and everyone just stopped talking and looked at me. <laughs> so, so I got up and I brought the laptop oh into God. the living room and I was freaking out, and I was like, I went into the Discord channel, uh, the the general chat on Discord, and it was just flying like a Twitch, like oh a Twitch gosh. stream. <laughs> and I was typing, and we were all freaking out. We were like, Oh my gosh, they finally did it! And the Inklings are in it too! I'm so glad the Inklings aren't Smash Brothers and that they announced it finally. I know, Anyways. that was the perfect way to announce it too. If they were making a Smash 5, we knew Inkling was gonna be in it, so that was a I think that was a good first uh, trailer, but when I watched it, that's why I had to make that video where I was freaking out because I was all alone driving down to Florida and I couldn't contain myself. I was so excited, so I had to let it out, so I made that <laughs> stupid video. <laughs> but uh, I was, yeah, I was watching it too, and halfway through the Splatoon trailer, I was like a part, deep down, I was like, oh my gosh, this is Smash. This is definitely Smash, but I was like, of course, I was thinking, there's no way. Like, obviously, no. there's no way. <laughs> but uh, as soon as she stopped in the lights, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is actually it. And then, obviously, the logo. And then I died, and now I am dead. <laughs> I'm just a ghost. <laughs> oh my gosh. I even watched it today before we did this discussion, and I still got goosebumps. Every time, wow, it's, it's like so they don't good. go away. Like, what's wrong with us? This is just a game. <laughs> because <laughs> there's so much history. There's so much emotion yeah, exactly. that has come with it. And you know that there's just this entire community of Smash players Boy. just like waiting for this very moment. Boy. And all around the world, everyone saw that part at the exact same time and everyone freaked out. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this was literally the shortest teaser. Like they didn't really show us much except Inkling and Breath of the, Breath of the Wild Link, which thank you, finally, I'm so tired of Twilight Princess Link. Now. Based off of things we've heard and seen, do you think this is a new game or do you think this is a port? I think it's a new game because one, Breath of the Wild Link, that doesn't really say anything, but it means that they had to update just, well, I mean, yeah. 
Okay, fine. That doesn't mean much. <laughs> but that was the first indication that this was more than just, oh, they're adding new characters. Like, Inkling's gonna be added to Smash 4. They're changing a lot. And, um, they didn't play the Smash 4 theme. They did something yeah. new. There wasn't any indication of Smash 4 Oh my gosh, the, and they the also, song in the background was like, oh my gosh, yeah, this, it's so dramatic. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and there, if it was a port, I feel like Nintendo would have said because they 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 would know that they're disappointing everybody, especially <laughs> with how dramatic this trailer was and the reveal and the fiery logo. I think they, I think they're smart enough to know that people yeah. would be very disappointed. They're like, oh, this is just a port, though. Hopefully, like it's just fine. God. The only thing that makes me think it could be a port is the fact that it's already going to be released this year. Yeah, it's so close. That's what doesn't make sense, is they would have had to start making it like when the, like when Smash 4 was released, or like a year after Smash 4 was released, which is yeah. possible, but like they were still making DLC and like doing a ton of stuff with Smash 4 at that time, so I don't know. Yeah, it's hard it, to say. And it I could honestly Sakurai's just be like splatoon 2 like it like it's oh smash 5 but it's pretty much smash same 4 engine and everything yeah that's what i was thinking i was thinking like and i don't know because it's it does like you said seem to indicate that this really could be an entirely new game which would be great but i'm almost wondering if it's just gonna be like a port of at least the engine maybe this is a port of the the engine but new animations new characters tons of new modes uh, maybe they completely changed Link, but that seems unlikely to keep the same engine and completely change Link because I think that if they're going to use Breath of the Wild Link, they're going to use Breath of the Wild movesets with like the runes and stuff like that, which would be amazing. Breath of the Wild, Wild Zelda would be really cool too, because she's yeah. really different from um, Twilight Princess Zelda. I think that'd be yeah. fun. 2018, this right here, Super Smash Brothers, is is without a doubt the most anticipated Nintendo Switch game to up up to date. Yes. And I think that this game alone is going to like sell even more Switches because I remember people only bought a Wii U. There were there were people, including myself, that only bought a Wii U to play Smash. Who do you think is going to be in it? <laughs> oh, what new people? I honestly, the, I think that they'll bring a, a, several people from the ballot. And that would be really cool. I would not be surprised if Shovel Knight came in. Oh yeah, if, I'm sure. Uh, I I would I would I wouldn't be that surprised if King K. Rule came in, but I would be slightly surprised. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like King he's K. so. Rool. Well, yeah, he's, I feel like he's like out of out of date now at this point. Yeah, he's not really relevant anymore. He's so yeah. yesterday. Even though, like, obviously. Uh, you know, Duck Hunt's out of date, but the, their right, but that's defense different. would be it's cla it's a classic. Yeah. But those are the only ones that are coming to mind. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they brought a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 character. They obviously love their Fire Emblem, so yeah. we'll see some Fire <laughs> Emblem characters, maybe six more. I was just <laughs> thinking, what if, like, what if they bring Breath of the Wild Ganon? Like, what's that going to be? <laughs> a giant pig! <laughs> I know. <laughs> A it giant, cool. like, scorpion skeleton. Game Explain <laughs> was saying it would be cool to see Hyrule Warrior, Warriors Ganon in here. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, and maybe Linkle, or whatever the crap her name is. Linkle, just something different. Honestly, instead of Linkle, I don't want Linkle. I want another Zelda character, like Midna or Girahim or or one of the one of the champions. It would be so cool from Breath of the here, Wild. Here we go again. Here we go again with the Smash prediction. I know. Now we have this entirely new <laughs> Smash. It, it's, it could be anyone, really. Maybe Nintendo watched our uh, Fresh Fighter contests and took ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'll or the great. other one where they got the queso and Miranda sings. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I can't express how freaking excited I am for this game. Anyways, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> leave a sure. like if you're super excited about any of these games. Leave a, leave a like if you hated this video. <laughs> and uh, subscribe to Ericsson Gaming for more stuff like this, please! Yeah. More stuff like Smash. We'll be playing Mario Tennis, Splatoon. Uh, I, we're back. We're going to be doing an Eric's Exchange. Eric's Exchange. Eric's Exchange. <laughs> Eric's in the Exchange. Future. Just thanks. And we'll see you in the next vid, as most YouTubers would say, even though we never see you, you see us. That's it. Go have a pizza. Bye, yeah. guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>